Gina and welcome to my channel. Today I have a fun video for you. We are doing a comparisons video. Now, recently I saw a YouTuber's dupe video. Um, I know you know who she is. Her name is Jessica Braun. I adore her channel. Now she was comparing the number seven triple action lift and luminate powder to the Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish finishing powder. Now, I was thinking, you know what, why won't I try it out, test it out, do like a little weird test, see if I feel like it's a dupe, and if it is, it will be great because this is only $12.99 compared to Charlotte Tilbury, which is $45. So, I thought I'll, you know, try something a little different, spice it up a little bit, and not tell you which side is which. Now, I'm going to be doing check-ins and seeing how both products wear, and I want you to think to yourself, which one do I, which side do I think is Charlotte Tilbury, and which side do I think is number seven? So I'm going to start off by reading about both products. Now, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in two medium, and it has eight grams of product, and it's forty-five dollars. Now, this is a ultra fine setting powder that blurs imperfections and visibly reduces shine. Bright perfecting, doesn't cake or set in lines. Nourishing actives work to soothe and restore skin, while light reflecting ingredients diffuse light as it hits your face for a luminous complexion and an even finish all day. Give you a swatch. So that is the powder flawless finish. And it's really soft, really soft and smooth. Now the number seven powder kind of reminds me of Hourglass, the ambient powder. Really reflective, silver, really pretty packaging. Now this is $12.99, gives you a matte finish, good for mature skin, oily, normal, dry, and combination. The purpose of this product is for smoothing, makeup setting, and also to improve skin tone. So the number seven powder has 10 grams of products. Here is a swatch of the number seven powder. That's the number seven and this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Now it does feel smooth as well. So they both are smooth powders. So I will be inserting clips of me applying the powders. Now I just want to go ahead and share with you the products I use for concealer and foundation. So for the concealer, I use the Dior Forever Skin Correct. And for foundation, I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I did want to inform you that I didn't use any primers. Um, let's see, I use the moisturizer and eye cream, that is it. And it's been about two hours since I had both of these products on and I do like how they're wearing and they're not really settling into my smile lines. You know, I do have those little fine lines under my eye, which is normal, but I mean, both of them are looking really good as of right now. So yeah, I will check back in with you maybe another hour or two and see how my face is looking. All right, guys, I am back. And right now, I think both sides are looking pretty good. Now, I am experiencing some creasing underneath the eyes, which is normal for me, but it's nothing like extreme. And my smile lines are holding up. I'm really happy about that. Now, I want to say the Charlotte Tilbury side, which I'm not going to tell you which side is the Charlotte Tilbury side. It is my first time actually using it all over my face. Typically, I just use it under my eyes. So it's holding up pretty good. And also the number seven side is holding up really well as well. And I'm not seeing a big difference, like, you know, one side being better or anything like that. Now, I asked my mom um, her opinion, like, does one side look different or better? And she said they look the same. She said one side might look a tad bit more matte, but that was it. Now, I did forget to mention the shade range. Um, the number seven comes in light, light medium, which is the shade that I'm using, medium and deep. Now, Charlotte Tilbury comes in light, medium, and dark. Now, where you can purchase number seven is Target. All four shades are there, but right now, their stock is somewhat low. Um, the number seven site only carries light and medium. So if you are interested in the number seven powder, I would just maybe 
check consistently or they might have some type of way you could enter your email and when it does come back in they'll send you some kind of like uh, alert or email and you know you can purchase it now charlotte tilbury i know you can go on the charlotte tilbury website and also sephora to purchase the powder all right so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a close-up so we're uncomfortably close now i just want to let you see my under eye area so you see some creasing going on which is normal but I can say that both of the products are working really well because they definitely could be worse and look dry. So I do like how my under eye is looking. And the smile lines, you see a little bit creasing, but trust me, it could be worse. So there's some def definitely improvements. Um, so I'm really excited about both of the All products. All right, guys, we're back. Let's check in. Was it 2.30 and it's 6.30? And I just woke up for a nap, so I'm, I'm giving you serious nap face right now. I apologize. Now, I just want to let you know I do have combination skin. And you can see that my oils are breaking through, but it does not look bad. Both sides look appear to be really similar, you know. You can see some you can see my smile lines, but I mean maybe this side a little bit more than this side. And you know, this side tends to be a tad bit more oily. I don't know if you could tell just a tad bit more oilier um and there's some creasing going on which is to be expected underneath my eyes now to be honest with you i'll try to light up powders and i feel like both sides have really held up well especially in my smile lines now it's really hard for me to find a primer or a powder that won't set into my, li my lines and both of them did really well. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, this side is Charlotte Tilbury, and this side is number seven. I asked my parents what side they like more, and they said the right side, the number seven powder, which is really good, because it's only $12.99. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. I mean, I knew that Jessica wouldn't disappoint. You know, I just wanted to try it for myself, and I think that it's definitely a dupe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do plan on doing another video like this, comparing something to um, luxury versus like drugstore. So that's going to happen pretty soon. And yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and like and comment. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you for dealing with my bad brows today because I don't know what happened. I did try a different product and I just got to the point where I was like you know what I give up I'm not I'm not even I'm not even gonna try anymore let's just film the video we have a dupe here and I'm not seeing a, a big difference now I feel like maybe this side might have been a little bit matter at one point and this one just kind of at the end of the day hope really kept my oils in control it almost gives you more of a like natural finish and less powdery finish so i do really appreciate the number seven product so that's all i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye